Imagine a spotlight circling around a stage. The light's position on the floor changes, but it always stays the same distance from the center. That's the unit circle in trigonometry. The unit circle is a circle with radius one centered at the origin. Any point on the circle can be written as cosine sine theta. Why? Because cosine is the horizontal coordinate, sine is the vertical coordinate. As the angle theta increases, the spotlight moves. At theta equals zero degrees, the light is at one zero. At 90 degrees, it's at zero one. At 180 degrees, it's at minus one zero. At 270 degrees, it's at zero minus one. The unit circle connects geometry to trig values. It explains why sine and cosine repeat in cycles, why they're always between minus one and one, and why they're just coordinates on a circle. So every time you use sine or cosine, picture a spotlight sweeping around the stage, tracing the circle that ties all of trigonometry together.